George Cartwright. Hope you're okay with me using your name. Uh, you said, I have a client that wants to have a link in the nave bar on just one page. Is there a way to make it unseen on the rest of the pages? And does anyone know? Uh, I do know. Let me just quickly show you how to do it. Jump into, I'll just, this is on my website here, and we'll just jump into uh, an article here. First thing, I'm going to pull up the web inspector, figure out what is the page ID. What is the page ID here? I'm going to pull this up, little, this little bar here, this fun little bar. Here is the item. So this typically it would say collection uh, ID equals, quote, collection, and then the numbers, but we're in an article here, so it's saying item, but it's the same thing. I'm just going to copy that. I'm going to come back over to my website. going to go into the CSS, Design Custom CSS. I have a bunch in here, but we'll just make some spaces. Throw in hashtag because it's an ID. If it was a class, I would do a dot, but it's an ID. Uh, so hashtag, and then, whoa, low on battery there. Um, paste it in. Paste it. So that's the collection ID of this article right here. Um, I'm going to do these little curly brackets. And then I want to select the nav item that I don't want. So I'm going to pull up my nav bar. Let's say I don't want people, uh, when they're reading this, I don't want people to see my uh, my podcast. I don't. I, I just I'm embarrassed of it. Don't want people to see it. I'm going to select this the the nav link. Notice I'm selecting. If you look in the HTML here, I'm going to get. I'm not going to select the 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 link here. I'm going to select this second nav link. Ooh, there's no ID here, so we're going to have to do something fun. Um, I'm going to go to. I'm actually going to grab the nav. So we're in the nav. ID equals main navigation. I'm going to copy this main navigation. Okay, copy that. And now this is called nesting in CSS. So I'm going to paste it. It's also an ID. So I'm going to do the hashtag and then paste main navigation in there. All right. So now since main navigation is within the curly brackets of my page, it's only going to do this to the main navigation of this page. Okay, now I'm going to need to select, let's say, the second one. So this is first, you can see it highlighting over here, first, second, third, fourth, fifth. I want it to do the second nav link external. We're going to use something called a, uh, a, a pseudo element. Um, so we're going to say, we're just going to copy this class nav dash link external. I'm going to copy that. I didn't copy it. I'm going to paste it over here. And since it's a class, so these. You see here it says class, so that's going to be, I'm going to do dot and then paste it. But since these said ID, main navigation, I'm going to do a hashtag. So that's why it's a hashtag there and a dot here. So now I'm selecting, but because I haven't made any other, I, I haven't put anything else around this, this is just saying it's going to do whatever I put in here, it's going to affect all of these nav links. So I could do, let's pull it open so you can see it live. I could do just dis display none, right? And it's, boom, it's getting rid of all of them. So it looks like my course is actually some different type C. My course is nav link dash collection. So it didn't do it to that one. So that's why it stayed. Um, but I just want to do it to the second one. So I'm going to do colon nth dash of dash type. Oop, I didn't say of. And then I'm going to do parentheses right then I'm gonna do two it's my second one and now it's gone I don't want it to happen to the second one and that's how you do it fun little thing there